Hi everyone, welcome back to Shalama Craft. I have a project to share with you and uh, we're going to make one together. It might be a little bit of a long video, but I got some of the stuff already um, ready. And um, I'll show you guys what I make and we're going to make one together. So, um, welcome back to Shalama Craft. And we're going to, I'll show you, share with you guys what I made. Um, okay this is what I've been making this is what I made for my bedroom I'm gonna hang it up on the wall this is what I made and it came out beautiful so we're gonna make one of this but I'm gonna make one for my craft room uh, and um, a different color so we're gonna start from start to finish so you guys can see how I make this beautiful wall hanging okay so we're gonna make this I'll just put this over here for now okay what I did I went ahead and um, I have a piece of chipboard first of all let me correct myself I have a piece of chipboard I have a whole box of these um, puzzle pieces and I decided to make a background out of it and it came out really beautiful I'll show you guys how beautiful that background is look at that all that all that nice that's from my all these little puzzle pieces that I had it for almost two years never get around to put it together so i decided to pull my box out there's my box with all my puzzle pieces so i decided to use it in my craft in my project so i came up with using it as a um a background so what I did, I went ahead and I glue a bunch of pieces, and I just pick up a, pick a pieces and I start gluing. So I did most of the gluing part of it, and to do, I'll show you guys to make the um, to paint it. I use white gesso. I have um, some of my match pad in this little container that I use. I poured out from the bigger bottle that I have. So we have that. Uh, I have an old towel here that we're going to be using for wiping. My table is in a mess since yesterday because I was working. And... Um, I know I was gonna make another one to show you guys how I did mine before I put a um, put a post it and take a picture and post it on Facebook. So I decided to make one so you guys can see how I make it. I use two color of paint and these are from um, Martyr Store. I got the pink and the light blue. That's what I use. I got my gesso. I got my um, match pad and for cover my um oh, my um what do you call these pieces of um puzzle pieces I use tissue paper I just I have a, a sum of hair and what I did I just take one and it's like a two layer paper towel and then I went and I open it like that so that's what I use for cover this up so the rest of the stuff we're gonna do while while it goes on in the project I'll show you guys how we're gonna decorate it what I did with the first one I made so I am not I am f not feeling good but um I am good so except I my arm still hurts um, so I had a few 
I just don't want people to feel sorry that oh you always sick you always no I'm okay I'm just dealing with it one day at a time so today I got up this morning uh, my husband made me a cup of tea a big mug of tea I have my big mug of tea and um, he got the kids up and um, get their lunch and stuff ready so he took them to school so I decided to come down and um, relax in my craft room today I cleaned every day I cleaned my house my husband helped me a lot we clean my house is not dirty I got a clean house really clean my daughter called me a clean freak most of the time so so my house is really clean so I am going to sit down today in my craft room and we're gonna make this baby so we're gonna glue this part here we're gonna finish glue this part here just pick a piece of random pieces of your puzzle and we're gonna glue them down and yeah you need a glue gun and you need a glue stick you need glue gun glue sticks glue sticks glue gun and don't mind my glue gun it's pretty old and um, my husband got me a brand new one that I never used but this one still works so I said why open the new one that I got when this one still works when it when it broke or when it break then I could go ahead and use my um the new one he got me a brand new one from hard for afraid so I is still in the case is still there looking at me so yeah one of these days once this this one doesn't work anymore I got a backup one no point open both of them and just trying to you know nah this one still works so I ain't worried about it so we are gluing down our puzzle pieces I'm just picking up pieces and glue it down to my chipboard and we're gonna make a nice background for our project and if you glue one down and it's too big I'm just gonna like like that if it's too big don't worry about it we'll trim those off we will trim it off we'll trim those off so don't worry about those all I'm doing just putting um, a dab of glue and um, I need a piece okay this is perfect like right here so it covers most of it so we got that glue down we're not gonna cut these off yet right as this at this moment we are going to put back all of these because I got a lot of ideas for my puzzle pieces now trying to make a background and um, I got these so we'll throw that back in my box we'll put back that in my box I have myself a piece of um, cardboard a Dunkin Donut cardboard that I cut cut up the boxes and I cut it in pieces and I saved it to make tags and whatnot so it didn't go to waste anyway I have my um board we are gonna um I have myself a piece of um, paper and we're gonna paint I have to get my brush I got myself a brush I had to put them in some water because I forgot about it and it, and my um, glue just dry and um, I'm cleaning it right now so it will be fine I'll take out take out the rest because I'm gonna need them so let those dry there under my towel so we're gonna just so this and then we are going to do I can't use my right arm arm too much it just like really hurts I gotta put more pressure on my left left arm and my I'm a right-handed person so I'll try to go as um, it doesn't hurt like if I move it a certain way it really hurts it really hurts first what I'm doing we're putting down some gesso 
just to, you know, cover it up a little bit. We'll do a coat gesso on it. So you guys can you guys can see how I get to that beautiful wall hanging that I made for my bedroom. It matches my bedroom. The color just popped. I loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna put that one in my bedroom. And this one that I'm doing right now is gonna be in my craft room. So yeah, I'm gonna put this one in my craft room. And um, you never know if I did send out a package to someone, I might put it in a package for someone. You guys can see I'm just squeezing just so over here. We're just putting down just so and get all those um, nooks and crannies clean, cleaned up. My sorry about this, all this here. I don't, I do work, but I don't because I have to make all the um, all the flowers and and whatnot to put. I went ahead and I did my flowers. I made my flowers ahead. The embellishment I did. Um, a video and I show you guys um, how I did one of them so I'm using them in my project so that's why I made I'm gonna ha I am going to have to make some more because I want to do like different project we'll use up this just so on here and I got my um, heat gun here too so I won't put it too high I just put it low so I don't want the noise to bother you guys so we got that nice and covered we'll do a little bit of um, drying with my heat then we're gonna cover it with the, um, the paper towel I you know when you do stuff like this you guys you gotta think outside the boxes like what whatever you have around you I don't have a lot of crafting supplies I have what I have so I use what I got I go to the thrift stores and I find most of my finding at the thrift store Goodwill you know that's where I get my stuff I didn't want to buy a brand new one of these I went to the thrift store so like to make something like this you could just cut up boxes like any kind of boxes get a, get yourself a nice cardboard for the back and then use up what you got you know and this is one um, good way to use up things that you're not gonna use so what we'll do next we are going to um, put some um match pad on top of this now we got to get it nice and filled in there so the paper the tissue paper the paper towel will get into all that um all those um what do you call it i don't know all those details maybe i don't know but it will get into all that all that um that's why i put a lot of um mosh pot on here so when i put my um my paper towel it will observe the glue and it will goes in there so we are going to put the paper towel now so we're gonna do it like this what I did I went first and I just and this what I took take my brush and this is what I'm gonna do and then we'll start putting more um, much pot on it so we're gonna um, now we're gonna start putting more of the match pot so it will get into there and you will see all those beautiful details in there because your tissue paper is so soft it just goes in there 
I hope you guys could see what I'm doing. So I am trying to do this right now. See guys, look at that. Look at that. It's like almost looks like a back, like a, a stone wall effect right there. That is beautiful. So yeah, like I said, guys, whatever you got around, just use them. And if you got your kids some puzzle pieces and they don't use them anymore, just use them up. Let them save it for you. My son, when he sees, he goes through his toy boxes and he knows that I'm going to use something, he just bring it over and say, Mom, do you want this? Do you want this for your craft? It's like, yeah. Are you going to use it anymore? He's like, no, you can have it. You can have it for your craft room. Now I did my second um, paper towel. I'm layering my second paper towel down here. And I'm going doing the same thing with my brush again. Till we get this whole thing covered. We'll cover this whole thing up and you'll see how beautiful this It's hard when you're like my body hurts. My, I got back um my I got problem with my spine, so um I am kind of I am doing a little bit here, a little bit there. My husband does like a lot. He does laundry. He helps me um you know do the dishes, and my daughter helps me around help me out a lot when she comes home. She helps me out a lot too. So yeah, I got good kids and I got good husband. So they're they're pretty much I cannot ask for nothing, you know. So yeah, he really concerned. He really cares, you know, about what's going on. He take care of me like a little, like my little nine year old, you know. Yeah. But I do tell him, like, you know, I want to do stuff like I used to do a lot of stuff. So he said, like, when you feel like doing stuff, go ahead. It's like I started, um, I love cooking. And I started, I told him, I want to do, I'm going to make a new um, YouTube um, channel. But it's going to be just for my, um, my recipe because I don't want to mix up my recipe with my um with my crafting sorry with my crafting so um we i'm gonna come up with a um or actually i am going to um make a new channel for my recipe and um things like that i just don't want to um put them on my crafting channel so yeah i will post them on facebook and um, I'm gonna, I am going to try to um, probably today or tomorrow make myself a new um, YouTube um, channel for just my cooking when I does my recipe. So that's gonna be on um, my recipe. So it's gonna be um, a, probably a different name. So I'll let you guys know. That's my new um, recipe. Ah, my new, not my recipe, my new channel. So I am, yeah, I am going to make a uh, um, cooking um, recipe, um, probably a video for recipe, or probably do some cooking maybe when I feel better. So, yeah. Well, when I do my cooking, I do sit a lot because I can't stand up for a while. Like, I cannot stand up too long. And so, when I do recipe, I do sit. So, yeah, I do all get all my stuff ready and then I start doing my recipe. Okay, guys, this is... This is... Oh, it's... I could do another coat. So, we'll do another coat. And what I'm going to do, I'll come back and I will have to raise my heat so this baby dries up. And it's going to be kind of loud, guys. Please, 
forgive me for the noise but um it has to dry so i could show you guys what i achieve so we're gonna um dry this with the high heat to get the paint on. That's how I did the first one I made for my room. I did a lot of, you know, paint, glue, uh, mask pad, glue, mask pad, and paint, and that's better. The higher the heat is better. See, it's nice and dry. Okay, so what do we do now? We're going to have to paint. We are going to paint. So I got my brush and we are going to start out with my pink. So we're going to do the pink. I'll pour myself a bunch. If I need more, I'll go back to it. And we're going to start painting this pink. Look at that. That is beautiful. And this one we're gonna do maybe a pink and a blue kind of um, tone maybe. And this is a glitter paint from Marta Stored. It's a pink glitter paint from Marta Stored. And it's gonna take me a few co a coat to um, make it the way I want it. I might. I don't know if I want to add any um, blue into this because I want to make a pink. A pink I might add some um, I might add some what do you call it just so maybe and I don't know we'll see we'll we'll see what happened I didn't plan this and um, I didn't plan in anything for this I just go with what's my brain is telling me to do and um, I just came up with the idea We'll just pour the, the paint on top of it. Makes it easier. There we go. I just came up with the idea and I was like, oh, let me see what I could achieve from this. So it's the uh, idea came to me. And um, that's how the first one came out. And I just like went crazy and I went, I was like, let me see if I could just, you know what I mean? We're going to dry the paint for a little bit. I have to put it on here. Then we'll do another coat of paint. And we'll dry it again. And then we'll do a coat of test coat. Not a coat of test coat, but just add a little bit of something to it. But I like the pink. Maybe I might I might leave the pink. And I have um mm, I have white paint. We'll add a little bit of white paint. So let's add a little bit more pink into this. And I have white paint. We'll add some white paint to um to um you see, I'm not really fuss about the paint because I like that it has this beautiful, shiny, sparkly effect to it. And it's like really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some white paint in between and then I'll come back, dry, and come back and show you guys what it looks like. And I'll show you guys, my husband bought me paint. He bought me this giant can of white paint from the hardware store. So yeah, I have a lot of paint. A lot of, lot of paint. Um, I guess I am not prepared for anything today, but um, we're going to have to open this baby. If I could find something to open it. Guys, bear with me. I got a scissors over here. 
So we'll open this up. And what I do, I just go in there and, um, or maybe I could just That's, that brush is like really no good. We'll use the same brushes. Just it's pink, so I'm just gonna take whatever on the cover and I'm just gonna go in there and add some white, and then we'll come back and then we'll add some. Um, this is what I do. You guys could do anything you want. I'm just showing you the idea I came up with to just use my um puzzle piece as um i don't know what you call it dime uh, like a background effect like you do a brick wall effect so i got my white paint on there and then we'll dry that and then we'll come back and add some more pink paint that's that's basically sorry about the noise i had to close that up because he spent a lot of money for that little all that paint for me so i don't want it to be all dried up we're gonna dry this again taking out what I put in here and trying to make it perfect and say oh I am a genius of um, crafting no I want you guys to see the mistake I make or whatever I do on there I'm not gonna cut nothing out so I am gonna post it just like the way I am doing stuff over here so let me take a sip of my tea please oh, thank you uh, we're gonna add some more pink i want some more a little bit more pink on there this is gonna be like a pink pinky pinky something um, on top of the white that i just add there we'll just add some i'm just gonna go here and there and add some pink to it so we'll just do that how about that how about that guys when i'm done when we when we when i am done with it with with this or if you guys decided to make these you'll see how beautiful beautiful this is when you're done with it okay i think the pink is like really 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 perfect right there i like that i don't want it too bright too bright now because the color I got is like pink in you know we'll we'll go with that for now so I do not know if I should add some blue in there because um I think I should leave it like that if I'm gonna make it the way I want it for my craft room like I said my craft room again I'm gonna mention again my craft room is still in process of getting where i want it to be so one of these days i'll give you guys a tour so i am gonna try again with my heat gun
Okay, now I am ready for my um my second co my second coat to cover this up so it won't you know my second coat of uh, match pot over it. So we'll just add a coat of match pot over this because I I want to seal this. I want to seal it with my match pot. So I am putting a coat of match pot over it. So once it dry, it should dry clear and give it that um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shiny effect with the glitter paint in the bottom there. So yeah. And then I got to dry again. Guys, you have to bear with me. This is something I came up with and it will take a few minutes, a few um, paint and few um, drying time so you could get that beautiful effect that you're looking for it's just like you know you gotta wait for stuff to dry so that's that's how i got this that's how i got this 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 beautiful beautiful background effect that's how i got this and it's beautiful it takes some time to get the project going but you'll get that effect so I am going to dry again, okay? Okay, that's all the time I take just to make the one for my room. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to trim this baby. We're going to trim this and we're going to cut all those. I don't know, the scissors is not going to work. We're going to trim all the excess off of here. So we could um, start decorating this baby. It's kind of, um, the glue gets to the scissors and it's like really hard to, well, it takes a little bit of time and patience. Nothing beats patience, okay? Guys, take patience. I know you guys watching me drying and, um, painting and drying and painting and drying but if you're gonna do a project why why not do it so people see what you got to do and um, why uh, um, I don't understand sometimes like um, if somebody does not I don't know like if you do a video why taking out the most important part that um, people could see all the time you take to make a project so they could learn how to do take that time don't get something and said oh it will take like five minutes oh it will take 20 minutes no you do a project and um let them see how long it's gonna take you to get this baby look beautiful so there we go now first thing what i did i have um myself a piece of felt I have myself a piece of felt. I got myself a piece of felt. We're gonna cover the back. And first thing, what I did, I got some things over here. I don't wanna get caught by it. I'll just put them in the glue plate so that way I don't lose them. 
first thing what I did, I have these packaging something, it's like a foam, and um, I just put it down, and I measured, okay, we don't need the paint, we don't need the brush, we'll put those to, um, thing, we need the scissors, this stuff we don't need right now, so we'll put those aside out, so we're gonna decorate this baby now, we need the scissors, we don't need these, this paper right here we don't need that we don't need all these um dirty towels right now i'll just put that on the floor when i get up i'll pick it up and um we don't need this dirty paper right now all those we don't need right now right now what we need to decorate this and what i do i just put this over here and I have my markers and I'm just going to draw a line and I'm going to cut this I am going to cut this to the size I want I'll use that later and we're going to place that here we're gonna place if you have a little bit of extra you could always go back and trim trim it up I am gonna use my glue gun and we're gonna put this down I'm putting glue all the way around the back and we'll just do a little bit like in the middle so it will hold the uh, foam we are going to put the foam down and just See? Beautiful. 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 Okay, now we are going to trim the excess out that I don't need. So, even though you measure, you still have a little bit. So, just go ahead and um, trim that. It's not going to show anyway, so I'll show you guys what i done with the first one that I make. It's not going to show anyway. It's just something because when you hang it on the wall, you want it to be like, you know. So now what I've done. Oh, I'll put this somewhere. I might use that sticker. Probably some on something. So what I do, I just gone ahead here. We're going to measure the felt now. We are going to measure the felt. Like I said, we're we'll doing this one together. And we're going to draw a line so we could cut it. I am not a person with all uh, perfectly measure this and measure that. No. So we're going to cut this piece to put in the back. If my scissors will cut. I have a good pair of scissors, but I just don't want to use them to just get it all ruined and cutting all kind of stuff for it. So I am cutting. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So. I am just cutting the felt to put in the back now. So we got that cut. We are going to put this on the back. I don't want this to get dirty. So we're going to put this on the back. Like I said, the same thing. If you have a little bit, oh, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to glue this baby down. I'm going to put some glue. look at that that's nice all right we're gonna finish the other two sides back is done 
so now we're gonna decorate this baby we are going to decorate this baby I love it it's beautiful look at that deep all that details on the back I don't know if my cam can you guys see I am gonna turn one more light on um, is it too bright or can you guys see what I'm doing look at that beautiful okay first thing we're gonna do I have to have a sip of my tea we are gonna decorate it I have bought this 10 years ago never used never used it and um, I got it for three dollar at the Goodwill so I decided to put it in this project so we're gonna decorate this baby with this old vintage vintage lace we're gonna decorate it and uh, we'll add some in the front we'll do the same thing too so let's let's decorate this baby this is gonna be like a nice vintage piece oh that's fine so we're gonna start I'm gonna do the back with, and then when I flip it over you guys can see what I'm doing so first we're gonna start decorating this this is my idea and you guys come up with a different idea you could do it the way you guys want to do yours if you if you decided to make one of this one of these wall hanging Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful right there. Okay, so let's do this. We'll add some more glue there. We are going to do a pinch. A pinch over here. And we're going to swing this this way. Like that. So we have a nice corner. Like that. You just give it a little pinch. So you got a nice corner coming around like that. So this is going to be your back too. Your back got to be beautiful too, right? I need a glue stick. So let's get this. Good. Okay. Turn this this way. It's a long project when you when you do stuff like this it's like really it's a long project okay I need some glue over here okay. so we are going glue we are gluing we are gluing I need to get into my happy mode because um Yesterday I had to take a um, double um, medicine for my blood pressure and um, I had to take 80 milligram for my blood pressure yesterday. It was like high, high and my husband said you need to stop stressed out what you know you need to stop worrying about stuff and um, I said okay I am gonna go in my craft room and just be happy yeah so today I am in my craft room well actually I'm almost here every day in my craft room just trying to um, you know get stuff off my chest stop worrying about stuff you know things like that so yeah I have a lot going on in my life lately so it is kind of hard to say hey um, don't worry about what happened or you know don't worry about your your past or whatever it still bothers you that you know it's it's there it's still there it won't go away it would not go away and what I'm gonna do okay this this is the back right now 
And what we'll do, we'll, we will um, put the string that we're gonna um, hang it with. We we'll still, we still need my um, vintage lace. I have myself some pink <coughs> ribbon. Sorry, I felt a sneeze coming. I have myself a pink piece, a uh, pink ribbon, not a piece, a roll of pink ribbon, guys. We are gonna put this for hanging. So it doesn't matter which side you pick, because the um the chipboard is um the same. I didn't measure the chipboard, so it's whatever I had. And um, I am just gonna put this little thing thingy over here. And um, this is going to be our hanging. Um, so what I'll do, like right there, I'll just cut myself a piece of um, a piece of felt, and we're going to put it right on top there, so it it holds the ribbon down there, so it won't come off. So we are going to cover that up. There we go. Now we're going to decorate the front. The front of the um, the um, wall hanging. Our vintage, uh, I don't know, you call it vintage? I don't know, what should I call it? Vintage, vintage lace maybe? Because I had the lace for so long, 10 years. So we're going to um, start doing the front. My lace is like backwards on the roll, so it's kind of hard to work with when you're right-handed. So we're going to do, oh my God, that's beautiful. All right, we're going to do this. I'm not going to hesitate. We're going to put a glue. We're going to glue this baby down here. And we'll just glue them down there. We're gonna go around and we're gonna glue this. We gonna do this. We are going to do this. Like that. Come on there girl. You're gonna be like that. You know, nice and fluffy. We'll go there. Okay. is beautiful okay this is the top I gotta make sure because when I start gluing my embellishment down I just don't want it to be like you know So guys, how is everybody doing? I am trying to feel better. I am trying to um, not worry about too much about stuff. My husband told me, you're not going anywhere, so you need to stop worrying about stuff. So, I guess he need me longer more than I thought. <laughs> Oh, no. he's he's like really really he's like um if something happens to you who am i gonna have around you know yeah it's, it's it is kind of nice that um someone cares about you that much and it's like you know it bothers him when my blood pressure is high and um when i don't feel good he was like, um, this morning I woke up and he's like, are you okay? Are you feeling all right? Um, there's something I should worry about. I was like, um, I just don't feel good. And um, I told him, I'm going to go have my cup of tea and go down and um, work in my craft room. And um, he was just here, but he left to go um, do uh, something. So he'll be back. 
he will be back so we are decorating this beautiful baby guys look how beautiful this look look how beautiful this thing this beautiful thing should I call it a thing or um, I don't know maybe a wall yeah let's call it something you know so yeah look how beautiful this look I am cut I am cutting if my hand is in the way I am just cutting cutting the lace so I could get it like where I want it right here so I am putting glue and we'll get that baby rolling look how beautiful that looks already look how beautiful 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 you got the back is all nice and beautiful done now we're gonna um, do we're done with the late this lace for now um, my husband is back if you hear some noise don't and we're gonna put some of these um, pearl trim actually I am not gonna put the pearl trim yet we're gonna do that first so we are going to add a little bit more glue over here and um, we are gonna add some of these um, trim that I made I made these trim so I am going to put some of these on here first before I added my pearl trim. So we got to get this baby like right there to right there. Oh, that is beautiful. Actually, that's the wrong end because I just want the nice, beautiful side up. Okay, we'll add this here. Let's get this right here. I need this this thing is bothering me okay stay there we're gonna put some glue and we're gonna put that there we are going to put this right here ouch I burned myself with the glue and I'm trying to get that out of the way oh come on come on come on you see all the mistake you make when you're doing a project that's why you know I don't want to make it too perfect I don't want to make it perfect I want to make it that um hey look at that I want to make it that like you know the um like over here I got this little lace that caught there so we're gonna put some I pulled the lace up and we're gonna put this like right there because that's where I'm gonna cut it I am going to cut it right there I love that I want to make sure okay yes I'm doing the right side then we'll add this around the top so you make it like nice and beautiful more beautiful and more um, I don't know vintage looking more um, beautiful looking I am just cutting Sorry if my hand is in the way. So do we, we need some more glue. I am going to add some. Let me see. Something is now right over here. Um, actually, yeah, it's okay. I'm going to add some more glue there. And we are going to... Okay, there we go. And this side will I have a nice little snippy scissors but I have no idea my I have a whole thing a whole load of scissors somewhere I don't know I have the snippy and everything okay we got that snippy part done so far we got that how do you guys like that so far beautiful right okay we'll put that little bit of trim there and put that over there we are going to put some of these beautiful beautiful curled I got these off of eBay uh, probably I don't know maybe a year ago two year ago so I got this off of eBay so we'll put some of these on here so we are going to do this add 
this over here. Yeah, my husband just came back from what he went to do, so he just came in, closed my craft room door, and he went upstairs. He doesn't want to bother me when I when I'm doing my um video. He said, "No, I don't want to disturb you." I said, "Okay, that's nice though." That is like really, you know. This is not. I am going to stay out of your hair for now. And he went upstairs to take care of the um. Uh, I I I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys that we got um where we have ducks and we have chickens and um we have um turkey. We have ducks, chicken, turkey. Oh yeah. We have ducks, chicken, turkey. I'm gluing the um the um, pearl trim around of my um of my wall hanging right now. So we are gluing that baby down there. So this right here because I want to add the other row there we're going around we're going around the um the lace that I put we're going around it so we'll glue we are glued I am gluing now we are I am gluing my pearl trim so instead of do the whole thing I'm just gonna do part and um and go and do another part because it's, I think it's much easier doing part and then go and do the other part. So I am gluing this pearl. I am gluing this pearl trim along the edges. Of the lace so yeah this is what are we doing this is what I'm doing right now so you guys can still see what I'm doing so so far this is what we got this is what we get this is what we get um, okay so we still I gotta I am going to um, glue this here I am going to go this piece here we are almost finished with the um the trim with the um, pearl trim so I thought I was gonna do a part and a part but I guess I did not oh well Oh well, it is coming out beautiful. Oh well, it's coming out beautiful. It's coming out beautiful. I am in my happy place. Look at that beautiful baby. Sorry guys. I just need to cheer myself up and look at that. And we're not even done. Look at that. And we're not even done so we are going to I have I made these um, rows already the I use the same the same lace that I had and I went ahead and I made myself three of them because we're gonna do like three over here so I still want to add something more it's like my my um Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That is, that is gorgeous. That's, that is gorgeous right there. Let's put this baby in back in the container where it goes. Then I have these silk satin, satin. Um, this, these are from um, an old wedding dress. Like I use a lot of them in a few projects already. And we'll just 
place stuff here and there and see what we got so far so I am going to use my embellishment my beaded embellishment that I made and we are going to put one on each flower